Yeah, I'd have to delve into the uh, sound files. It's been a month or so since I set that up and looked at the sounds. I don't remember seeing the, sh the zap sound. That would have been one that I would have probably paid attention to to, to throw in. Uh, well, we're up to four whole vegetables so far. Survival skill is 29% because we're sitting at focus 27. I think we just got another one. I think I saw a vegetable flash on the screen there. Or the auto grabbed it. Alright, I think that's all I've got the patience for right now. Do to do to do. We are famished. It is 5 p.m. This is going to be terrible on my day night cycle flip. <laughs> Oh, crap. Ah, I forgot to turn it off again when I stepped next to my big pile. <laughs> Not good. I constantly do that. Uh, all junk. Junk. Yeah, crap. Keep the ID cards. Whoops. All the way. Keep the ID cards. I think that's it. Got the six veggies at least. Yeah, crap. Picked up all this random junk. There we go. Alright, now we're good. Hopefully I'm not too sad to cook. That would be bad. And as soon as I finish, I'm uh, I'm nauseous. Famished and dehydrated. <laughs> and I'm instantly nauseous. Come on, game. Now you're messing with me. Now you're trying to mess with me. Let's have some herbal tea. Maybe that'll help. Uh, Wait out the nausea. Oh, no longer nauseous. Consume it. Consume it. Quick. Slam this stuff down. Have some orange juice. Have some veggies. More veggies. Yeah, I'm not even going to get out of the, the, the hunger deficit with what we found. That is not good. I think that's another consequence of things like chemical imbalance. Because it's going to manifest as hunger sometimes as well. Uh, and I've got high thirst. So I'm going to have a really hard time keeping this guy fed and watered really hard time. Uh, normally, I don't have any difficulty keeping my characters fed and watered, no matter what the circumstances, but I think this guy is going to be particularly challenging in that regard. So, we're going to have to pray he never goes herbivore. Um, I'm going to have to find... We might have to take a trip in the vehicle down to the swamp and go kill a bunch of animals... I'm going to have to focus on uh, getting some food preservation set up this run, I think. So we're going to have to do the smoking rack, charcoal kiln stuff, which is going to be a little difficult given the location here. I'll have to set up a kiln. Hopefully there's forest over here somewhere. Uh, and then load up a vehicle and bring all the charcoal back. <laughs> nope, nope. I will die a horrible, horrifying, thirsty, hungry death before I plant seeds to farm. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, take off the duffel bag. We're... I've got to go to sleep, so we're going to wake up super hungry again, and like I said, I got no food. I got the three liter, glass, three liter glass jar of canned tomatoes. That will probably take the edge off, but that's about it when I wake up. And then we're going to be SOL again. I do have a little bit of protein powder, but we can mix up. Let's do the protein real quick. Why can I not do the protein? Protein no why? Oh, I'm out of clean water. All right, fine. Do all the clean water. Now do protein. And I'm sick again. <laughs> My body aches. My you're, you increase bashing to level one, your limb breaks. <laughs> uh, you're so funny. 
You're so funny. I do not have bashing one. <laughs> You're a big liar. Uh, still very hungry. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do here. We may just starve to death just because of all the uh, chemical stuff going on. Yeah, the weed farm would be pretty good. <laughs> if anything, that would probably be the one this one would do. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. We're tired. We're very thirsty and very hungry. I'm not getting ahead of that because we keep throwing up. So we're losing all our nutrition to the, uh, to the nausea. We're still recovering from the infection. We've probably got at least a couple more days before that's going to clear up. That's going to help tremendously. But yeah, I'm starting to really be concerned about our food water situation here. I think I might have to uh, force myself to get out in the vehicle and go driving to find um, some animals. So, check the field campsite, work my way over here near the swamps, see what uh, what this area looks like in the daytime when I can get up some map uncovered. And, um, yeah, this, this, one's, this one's looking kind of rough. Bookstore... I like some of these stores, but none of these are going to solve my food problem. <clears throat> All right, trying to keep my uh, out eye out for grocery stores here nearby too, and I'm not seeing any. What else is in the area? These residentials don't have a whole lot. Pizza parlor over by that dojo. Maybe I'll make a trip over there. Check the dojo. See if we've won the challenge. Hit the pizza parlor, hope for a couple of boxes of pizzas. That would get me through a day. Candy store is not going to help much. Uh, I'm just not seeing grocery stores anywhere in this southern area here. Hmm. Grockery. Where are the grockery? I spelled it wrong. We'll just do that. Um... Right there. Grocery store there from where I'm at. Right next to the uh, bookstore and the two apartments. That might not be too bad to try to get to. Just come across the field, work my way into the apartment, the museum, the grocery store, the apartment, and then back out again. Also have a doctor's office. That wouldn't be too bad. Oh, there's a grocery store right above it, too. And another grocery store. Yeah, we're going to go this way. Grocery store. Grocery store. Grocery store. <laughs> Several apartment buildings all right next to each other. We can raid the kitchens. Plus the music. Oh, that's a music venue. I always want to say these M's are mu uh, museums, but some of them are music venues. That's an animal pound, but there's a doctor's office. All right, that's what we're going to do. I still need to get some food in my belly, and then we're going to try to go this direction and hit this stuff. Assuming I can uh, get that done. Uh, wait, wait. Do I have any other drugs? All I've got is pain meds. I don't have any other drug types yet. Hmm. Yeah, the style, well, I don't know if the animal style books for the Shaolin show up in the dojo. That I can't be 100% on, but we found a keto a couple of times already. I know the other types are, are found in dojos, so. I think we'll be most likely in this city to find it, well, I can't say 100% it's there, but uh, recycling centers, the paper section has a chance for books, libraries, bookstores, with this kind of map gen, my chances of finding mansions and uh, schools are pretty small. I know we saw there is a mansion way down here. Hospital there. Where'd the mansion go? Over here? There it is. There's a mansion buried right there. That's an awful long trip to take a chance to hopefully get something. I think that was the only one I saw on this entire map. Prisons. A mall. And the rest of it is just solid city pretty much everywhere. Oh, there's a school. Ooh, and we can actually 
Ah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> it's going to be hard for me to get to that school. Because we got that huge section right up there to get through. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't remember seeing the animal stuff anywhere, honestly. That's an audio or hallucination. Auditory hallucination. All right, what can we eat? We're going to have the canned tomatoes, stuff those in, and hope that they stay down for a bit. This constantly throwing everything up is going to kill me here real quick. Yeah, this whole can is going down without me actually making any progress. That's 7 out of 12. 8 out of 12, and I'm still hungry. I just don't have any way of dealing with the nausea. And we're also almost out of water again. I think I'm just going to go to bed with that. We're going to wake up in pretty bad shape, I think, and it's going to go downhill real quick. <clears throat> If you haven't played with the combo of these kinds of traits before, chemical imbalance, uh, mood swings, and schizo, it is not uh, easy in any way, shape, or form. You get the wrong timing on some of these effects, and you can get dead pretty quick. So, with a half item drop rate combined with those, where it's hard for me to find items in the city, uh, if I can't keep myself fed and hydrated... <laughs> The hydration obviously is no problem, but the feeding part, as you can see, is starting to become very big a concern. It would really, really help me to get the infection recovery done with, so we'll see. Alright, let's go to sleep. Uh, 8.30 p.m., we're tired, yeah, this is going to time out really, really poorly. And we threw it up already. Just instantly threw it up. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know what I can do. Short of getting in the vehicle and once again cruising ambulances and doctor's offices to try to get some meds. I thought I could wait out the infection, but I don't know that that's the only thing causing this. Oh well, we gotta sleep. I, I can't keep throwing up and keep not having food. We're just gonna end up famished and dehydrated again. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was the uh, auditory hallucination. The constant waking up is not helping. There's the famished and dehydrated. Yeah, I think this is going to kill me. I don't think I'm going to recover from this. We may never wake up. <laughs> You guys are lies. Famished and dehydrated. I've got nothing in the house to eat. I'm almost out of things to drink. It's 11 a.m. We are still recovering from infection. Malnourished, so we've got massive negatives to our speed. Well, last of the tomatoes. Hopefully they stay down. Got two more clean water. Fair gallon jug. Let's go get some toilet water. That would be a really ignoble way to go, considering what we've survived. Just to go down from the uh, chemical stuff, <laughs> making it so I can't keep any food down for multiple days. Do, do, do. Uh, all 15, please. We're probably going to throw up before I get this cooked. 20 minutes. What you want to bet I throw up before this finishes? Mm, aching I can deal with. Consume it, consume it, consume it. That's six. Seven to get us hydrated. Pour the rest into the jug. Well, that's 20 minutes without throwing up, and we're hydrated. We got it down to very hungry. Uh, but as you can see, we're out. <laughs> we got nothing I can really eat. And it's daytime. Not a good time for that. 
We're still tired. If I go sleep now, we're going to wake up famished again, probably. Do I go grab some veggies? Uh, if we weren't finding, like, one veggie every 30 bushes, I would be a little happier about going out and trying. We're only at 31%. That whole trip last session, or last trip out, only gained us, like, 10 or 15%. That's rough. How to time this. Or do I use the daylight and go hop in the vehicle and go kill a monster, kill, a, kill an animal? That might be a better, more time economical solution. I'm just worried if I leave, I'm going to drag stuff back with me during the daylight hours. I really, at all costs, don't want to drag anything here into the base, into the, uh, the ranch with me. Uh, we could go explore a cave. Maybe it's a Rat King cave and I can get Dodge 8 in the first, in five minutes. And then also get a boatload of fun mutations. <laughs> need, need food before you're too weak to catch it? Ram a moose? Yeah. Ramming a moose would be a little rough in my current vehicle. Alright, let's grab the duffel. I don't have any guns for hunting with or anything like that. I'm going to have to run down whatever I'm going to try to eat. Don't have any arrows for the longbow. have no skill for it. Leave the gallon jug of water behind. All right, let's chance it. Hmm. Real or not real? <laughs> I'd be inclined to believe these ones are real. And it looks like I got somebody out in the fields, too. Oh, what, what died on the fence? I think that's probably a zombie. Turn that off for a second. Yeah, shady zombie... And another shady zombie. Alright, shady zombies are dying on the fence. I need to get over there and pulp them, but that means I'm going to have to fight these other things. Barrel, tough, shady. Alright, let's, let's fight. We're going to have to sleep again pretty quick anyway. We'll heal up whatever's wrong there. We'll get these guys pulped and kill a few zombies. Right after he makes me blind. All right, zombies. Um, I'd like to get you on the fence. That's always fun. Let's go back this way. <laughs> he blinded me anyway. I thought the safety glass was going to protect me from the blinding. All right. No ripping of the backpack, you punks. What got destroyed? There goes my jacket. That's also very bad. Hope they at least gave me something for the effort. That would be a big no, other than a flashlight. Didn't get any bites. Bites wouldn't concern me at this point anyway. I'm a little concerned about the jacket though. Yeah, now my arms are cold. Man, my backpack's pretty well ripped up. Alright, I really don't want to do this. We're famished now. Let's go... Hmm. Let's go around the bandit camp.
All right, that's one of the river spaces. We'll go southwest a bit. Trying to keep my eye out for um, animals I can fight. Dogs would be the best right now. I'll check out the campsite while we're here. Come on, campsite. Have some food items. Still taking too many hits. Hey, look at that. We got some Mary Jane. Not sure how to prepare that, but... Don't care. Graham crackers. Uh, it's going to make me thirsty, but we're hydrated. We're going to slam down some graham crackers. Goodbye, graham crackers. That's going to be it. Oh, that kind of sucks. One item in the entire camp. All right. Keep moving. Squirrels! Nope, not no squirrels. Another helicopter. No MREs? Pilots? I can probably arrange for the pilot to die. I don't see any... There's two pilots. There's no other cargo, though. Where I might be able to get MREs. I didn't bring the shovel to dig them out. If I have, if I drag them through the wreckage, they'll hurt themselves in the wreckage. So I can just have them walk through it and then try to finish them right when they step off. It's a little tricky timing-wise, but uh, I think we can do it. Let's give it a try. All right. How you doing there, zombie? Moderately injured. You should survive at least one more space. Now you are still moderately. You are heavily. Have you go through one more space. Now, alright, heavily is where we're going to stand. Whoops. Hey, beef and beans, MRE. Oh, the Riv Tech. <laughs> now we're talking. Oh, that's quite the lucky drop off of a pilot. Oh my goodness gracious. So... We got the RivTech IDW, 50 rounds of 50 by 50. Looks like it's not using the penetrator rounds. That would have been even funner. <laughs> More fun. Uh, so, hell yes, hell yes. Unload that. Oh my goodiness. That will open up some options. Uh, I don't think I care about any of the rest of this. I do not. All right, next pilots. How are you doing, Mr. Pilots? You are moderately injured, so we're going to have to drag you through a few of these wreckage pieces. So step there. Now come down this way. Whoops. There you go. Good job. Oh, scientist sneaking up on me. All right, how are you doing? Heavily injured. That's what I want. No man hacks, Mr. Scientist. Another MRE and a military ID card. Alright, awesome. Those are going to help out quite a bit. We'll unload that one as well. Hey there, Mr. Scientist. You are lightly injured. Come on through the wreckage. Him i got to be careful with. He'll kill himself pretty easily. Moderately injured already. Alright, let's charge him. I don't want... Ah, I brought the man hack out. <laughs> you bastard. All right, let's dump the backpack. Come here, you. Come into that last base. Oh, now he goes around? I see. Now he's all smart and stuff. There we go. That's about the best I could have hoped for in that circumstance. I got all three of them to come through the wreckage, deal themselves some damage. So I guess I would consider that a tactical tip for anybody new to the game. Use your environment. Wreckage does damage to these guys, so drag them through it, but don't let them die on the wreckage itself unless you've brought a shovel with you to dig them out. Otherwise, you won't get the loot. Bandages. Yay. Did you give me any plutonium? No, but you gave me a blade. Uh, let's pick up my stuff again. Backpack on. Grab my gear. Grab the blade. Don't care about that. 
I grabbed everything from him I care about. Now it's down to do I want a butcher. I bring the scalpel. I don't have a scalpel yet. Hmm. No, I could do a hack job of it. I just don't think I want to waste the time. It's going to take me a long time because my really low skills, my poor tool. So I'm just going to bash them. Keep these guys from getting up. If I remember and I drive by again later and it's still there, I'll butcher him with better tools and skill. Chances I'm going to get to a CBM, an Autodoc installation. I know where one's at. <laughs> we actually found one. The first building we went into when we started this one has an Autodoc. But it's a long way in. All right, let's, um, let's do the MRE thing. Let's have Southwest Beef and Beans. I am not nauseous. Yay, so activate. Activate again. This time we're going to activate the heat pack. I want you to heat up the Southwest, be the Southwest Beef and Bean Entree. So we can have a warm meal. 312 each with 173 for the cheese spread and the crackers. Yummy. Please don't get sick. Please don't get sick. Please do not get sick. <laughs> that would really suck to have this kind of MRE go to waste. Look at that. We are off of super hungry. Uh, I'm not going to take the accessory of the dessert right now. We'll toss the rest of this into the storage compartment. That was awesome, though. Two MREs, the military ID card, the uh, the RivTech gun especially. Good stuff. Got to keep the gun with me. I don't have a strap for it yet. I think I'm going to throw it in the back trunk. And we're going to keep moving. We have not solved our food problem yet. Anything? There's no animals in the swamp. I'd be stuck with small harvests of things, eating uh, boiled uh, cattails, getting starch. You, you can do a lot in a swamp, but it helps to not have them completely devoid of life. So I think I'm going to keep driving for now. What, is it just going to be a line of swamp following the uh, the trailhead and that's it? That's going to kind of suck. Hmm. Well, we know we have the gas to go as where, wherever we want. Uh, and I just threw up. <laughs> and we're very hungry again. Uh, wasted MRE. Oh, we got a big helicopter. Bio operators! All right. Now things are going to get interesting. So there's the uh, the Osprey that I'm always looking for. Whenever I mention to people I'm going hunting for bio-operators, this is what I'm talking about. Pretty much labs, barracks, and uh, these are the ways to get bio-operators. And I just happen to have a gun that's going to take care of this problem for me pretty simply. And we're out in the middle of nowhere, so I'm not going to attract much attention by shooting the gun. Should I determine or decide to use it, which I've got to do so. Hopefully I get some more MREs, get some more medic or military gear. Um... What else would they drop that I would want? All the clothing's going to be bad. I do have soap, so I just have to drag it out to the pond and get it cleaned up. All right, well, let's cancel that. Turn sideways. Have these guys come to me the long way. How many do we got? Two bio-operators, one scientist, and a handful of soldiers. Well, it's probably going to take half of my clip to clear that out if I fight them all with a gun. Which I'm not keen on doing. Hmm. No, I'm getting I'm getting sick constantly. I don't think it's going to make any difference whether I eat fast or slow. If I eat one food, I get sick two seconds later. If I eat one ten minutes after that, I get sick ten seconds later. <laughs> it's just the the nausea is just coming at me so fast and so often that. Uh, I don't think it makes a big difference one way or the other. I think I would still consume the same amount of food. I mean, I could try to do one at a time, but I don't think it has anything to do with quantity. Uh, I'm not infected. I'm just recovering from infection. So 
We got this for at least, I think I said day six was when I expected this to go away. So, we'll be helped out quite a bit when we get the recovering from infection gone. Um, then it's just some of the negative effects here, but I don't think I don't think we'll be getting nausea as nearly as often. So I've just got to keep myself alive for another day or two, I think, uh, to recover from the infection, and we should be okay. That's my my guess. So if we fire a gun here, chances are we are going to draw zombies right through the swamps. There is forest here, so that's good. I'm glad to see that. I haven't seen any animals yet. And we got the road here I'm a little concerned about. That could be a facility or something. If I start firing the gun, we're close enough. That might come this way too. So I'm a little concerned about taking these things out. I'm thinking of just leaving them here for now. I'm coming back to get them. I'm just not happy they're right here where my forest area started that I wanted to explore. And if I don't immediately get out of the area, they're going to wander all over the place. It'll be hard for me to come back to get them. Or do I empty them? I figure maybe I, it's probably worth it for me just to sit here and empty the clip and, and kill these guys because the likelihood is pretty good that one of these guys is going to drop either another RivTech gun or something equivalent. I'd really hope it would be a RivTech something or other. The battle rifle or another of these that I can just ammo up on. So let's do it. It's been a while since we had some good clean killing of zombies. Uh, let's wield or a gun. All right, we're gonna wield the RivTech rifle. I've got, let's see, what do I need to do to divest here? No encumbrance on my arms, a little bit on my hands, torso won't matter. All right, I think we're good. Yeah. All right, hey there, bio operator. You're up first, are you? And where's your where's your buddy? He's buried in there. And the scientist is there. All right. So scientist is actually who I'm somewhat worried about. I just don't want multiple man hacks popping out. But let's start killing bio operators. Do, do, do. I gotta kill them. I gotta scoop stuff, and I gotta leave before stuff shows up to uh, fight me. <laughs> Re reinforcements. That was not the key I wanted. Yeah, this is too many hits. Too many hits it's taken. Heavily injured. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, he's still not down, even with a headshot. Nearly dead. <laughs> At least he didn't grab me. I should have put my earplugs in. I always forget the earplugs. Don't let him down me. That would be the really bad thing, is if he gets close enough to down me. Fire. Alright, so now i got a little bit of leeway. But man, that was too many shots. I'm going to have to rethink this. I'm down to 44. It took six shots to drop that guy. Ooh... If I can drop these soldiers in about three each, one, two, three, four, five, six soldiers, that's going to be almost half of my remaining clip just for them. 26, 30, yeah, I'm probably going to blow through about 30 more rounds, I would estimate. It's possible I won't even kill all these things with what I've got. Yeah, this thing doesn't have the punch that I expect from the uh, battle rifle. Oh, God. Four? Please tell me not more than four. It might be more than four. Great. Too close. This is not going to time out well at all. This is too many shots. I need you to go down next, though. Not good. I'm going to start losing stamina. Don't mess with my vehicle, you guys. I'll get hangry if you mess with my vehicle. Let's see. 73 and 27 versus 48 and 16. Gotta do that one. Yay! Headshot for 36. Alright, Doc. I need you to go down quick and easy. That is not quick and easy, Doc. That was not quick and easy. God dang it, I moved the wrong way again. 
I still got five soldiers to go, and I'm down to 29. And some of these guys are taking five shots. Yeah, we're going to empty this thing. <laughs> we're going to empty this thing. Anything on the ground yet that is, is, is fun? I'm not seeing anything. I've already killed all the fun stuff, and I'm not seeing a single useful thing. Oh, this is going to be bad. I'm going to kill all these things and get nothing for it, and have wasted all this really, really primo ammo on these guys. MBR vests, MBR with ceramic, MBR with ceramic. Ah, <laughs> uh, crap. I'm also getting worried about my, uh, my stamina. Moving at 145, really? 118 in the bushes, or on the ground, flat ground? How am I going to time this with these guys doing this to me? i got to run to get enough range to get some shots off. But they're kind of hurting me the way they're oriented. I think I'm going to have to run them through the vehicle again. Kind of get them... Oh, there's another one. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Uh, so that's 36 more rounds, probably, if it takes six per. Yeah, I don't have enough rounds to kill all these things, I don't think. Hmm. I'm also, so far, not seeing any cargo in the Osprey. I don't have a good view of the interior yet. And I'm worried about the noise I've generated and things streaming towards me from this direction or from here. So far I haven't seen anything come out of the uh, the woods or on the other side of the helicopter. But if I keep circling around I may put myself a long way away from my vehicle. Alright, let's plan on circling the vehicle so I can at least slow them down by forcing them through the wreckage and through the vehicle to me. I gotta use, that's my primary defensible uh, terrain that I can kind of orient them and maneuver them around. That one's moderately injured. Some of these are injured, so that's going to help. Ten hit. Ten points. That's not going to help. Alright, so three shots and down. That kind of number I can work with. Moderately, 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 lightly. Alright, you're next. Jeez, three shots of moderately started and he's still not down. Nearly dead. We're down to four with 22 shots left. Alright, we're going to keep running here. Alright, I think that'll do. Next one's down. I'm trying to alternate. I'm watching my numbers. I'm trying to alternate precise and careful. Alright, I think that one will be... Yeah, down. One more hiding up north. Well, there's an MBR, but no ammo. Laser sight. We'll grab the laser sights. Uh, I've got a shovel back at the base, so I don't care about the trenching tool. I uh, guess we'll grab the matchbook. There, he's working his way through the vehicle. I'm still not seeing any loot in the vehicle, which disappoints me. Usually there's at least one or two spaces with loot. Again, nothing. Not good. I think I got uh, I got shortchanged on the loot on these guys pretty hard. Stop running. Do not want to be out of stamina. An ID card, some chicken chunks. <laughs> that doesn't replace 50 rounds of uh, 5x50 RivTech ammo. Alright, you better be bringing me a really good weapon, dude, because this, this really sucked. And H and K. Well, at least he brought me something. Only a pistol, but uh, I guess we'll take it. It does have 20 AP. It's just really low damage. So, another one I'm not super excited about. Single shot, semi-auto, high armor penetration, but low damage. We'll grab that in the holster for it, I guess. 
And I should probably grab... Let's see here. All the good MBR stuff's up north. Gas mask also up north. Alright, we'll, we'll grab other stuff up there. Yeah, this is a pretty piss poor selection. Man, blew a lot of ammo for this. Let's go verify there's nothing in the helicopter before I move further north. Nope, no objects to uh, loot inside the helicopter. Nothing out this side either. Alright, well, we got lucky, then we got unlucky. Just have to roll with it. Um, Give me the gas mask, the MBR vest. Alright, we'll hold off on that for a sec. Dump the gun. I was also expecting a little more food than what we got. Alright, back of this thing can't hold all that much. How much we got left? We're at 17 out of 37? No, we're fine. Alright, give me that. And give me that. That. Duffel bag will stop that nonsense. Let's grab uh, those just for possible future crafting use. Useless, useless, pretty much useless. Really damaged jacket. I need to get something on my to replace the jacket I lost, but I I don't want to deal with that. Either scientist soldering iron. All right, soldering iron's helpful at least. I think I forgot to pulp a lot of these. <laughs> uh, I really don't want to walk back down there. Decayed zombie has decided to show up. So, we've got what? We're up two MREs, I think, currently. Uh, yeah, those are accessory items. So, we got two MREs and the accessories from the first one that we're up currently on this, this important food run I've decided to go on. Uh, oh, prison! Why, we, why can we all of a sudden see more of the map? Is it because I peeked around the helicopter? Is it blocking my range down here? Um, huh. Getting into the prison would be a little tough. I don't have EMP grenades to deal with the robots at the front. Uh, at best, I would be able to get into the kitchen cafeteria area. Might get a few food items, but for the danger, it's not worth me going over there. There can be vehicles that might be useful for me to look at. And then we've got this little uh, city area over here. I think I'll sweep down, check any vehicles out front of the prison. There'll be a lot of eye bots and cop bots. Might kill a cop bot. We'll see. And I'll sweep up north. We'll check to see what this looks like. If this is a continuous road and if it's more city or just the one. At the minimum, though, at least we've got some forest over here and a swamp not too far away for me to set up. Um, one thing that I was looking for was uh, a place to set up a charcoal kiln for food preservation. Hey there, zombies. Uh, let's go ahead and turn south. Uh, 
Alright, ambulance. Come on, meds. I want me some, what, Thorazine? And I'm trying to remember the other meds. Hey, there's cop stuff on the ground over there. Shotgun, beanbag, and a riot helmet. And a tactical tonfa. Alright. We'll uh, use the ambulance here as a sh temporary shield. Oh, there's an iBot. Alright, we need to get out of here before the riot bots show up. From the south, southwest, is that inside? That's got to be inside. Come on, meds. Oh, we got a chance. I don't usually see the uh, meds for these kinds of conditions in ambulances. I think I have to hit the doctor's offices and hospitals mainly for those meds. But let's see. So, inventory here. All. Uh, yeah. More antibiotics, more aspirin, more bandages. More adrenaline. That's our third adrenaline. Quite the haul, but not what I was looking for. I don't need the inhaler. I don't need scissors or hemostatic. So. No wheels. Not going anywhere. But I liked it for that, or for some of that stuff. Is it worth me going to grab that there? Lots of cop bots. Yeah, four, five, five or six. Do I care about a riot helmet and a tactical tonfa? I almost never wear the riot helmets. And I've got a halogen bar. I know the tactical tonfa is better for uh, general beating stuff up with bash, but I don't think I would carry it around with me. Let's grab it anyway. Let's have options. I always like to have options. We'll be out of here before the uh, riot bots show up. Alright, well that's pretty much why I came here. Check for vehicles outside the facility. So I was kind of curious. The road does continue. I wonder if it connects up to that section there. We are not going to find out. I still do not have animals anywhere. Another soldier. Where are you at, soldier? Hmm. Random or part of a helicopter site? Shocker brute. <laughs> shocker and shocker brute. Oh, come on, game. What are you doing to me? They're closing in on me. Just... You know, walking around out in the woods like they do. <laughs> Just randomly. What are we looking at? Bookstore, residential's empty, and a house. And a couple of zombie horde indicators. Uh, and a bunch of fat zombies. Alright, right through the middle of that. What are the chances I can buzz the bookstore and get out of there? Dogs and shadies. It's looking like the chances are pretty small. There's a lot of zombies out here. So that's the bookstore there. Empty resident. No, empty. That's the bookstore. That's the empty residential lot. So I got. I'd have all of this to deal with to try to get into that bookstore. Don't think I'm gonna try it. Not with stuff coming up behind me as well. And not having rollerblades or anything to enhance my movement speed. I was hoping to get into some of these. Oh, grocery store though. And it looks like this is a larger city area because parking lot, parking lot. So let's go around. Cemetery there. So that's the grocery store, no back door. Front is over here. I'd have to get around and yeah, this is gonna be awkward. Still not seeing any animals that I would be able to kill and eat. Whoa! Alright, I think I just broke something. I think I hit that headstone. Boom crane's still there. Um, what am I looking at? 
Oh, almost a clear run down to the uh, front of the grocery store, but I just there's gonna be so much in that area. What else am I looking at? Yep, right on the edge of another big city area. I think I'm going to stop and kill this thing right here next to me. And then try to scoot over towards the grocery store. I might still be able to get in there without getting too much attention. Let go of controls. Come here, you. Oh, I got a duffel bag on. Crap. No, no fighting with duffel bags. Uh, shift from here to there. Can't. Great. Pick up the duffel bag then. Backpack, flip-flops, don't care, not going to bother to pulp. Back in the car, can I get over here? Get in and out without getting swarmed, that is the question. There come the zombies. God dang it, that one came out of the north too quick. I was going to beat up my vehicle. Come in this way, follow me please. What are we looking at? Books, grapes, that's what, popular mechanics? Yep, popular mechanics. Uh, vegetable soup, flowers, good. The rest of this really sucks. This is not the kind of bulk food that I need. I need better than this. And the place is pretty much empty now. Alright, that sucked. This was a terrible grocery store. Not sure where that zombie went that was over here near my car. What do I got in the trunk? I got six liters left. Um, drop that and that back there. Ah, this thing drives weird. <laughs> Damn, this thing jumps all over the place. More short ropes. All right, let's try to grab the short ropes. Drive right over them. Come here, short ropes. Uh, here. Give it to me. Here. There. Looks like I already passed them. All right. Well, we got one of them. Necromancer in the area, animals running away from me, little tiny animals. I still am not really feeling like I'm getting ahead of the curve here. Butcher shop is full of uh, bloated zombies. I've got a gas mask, but it's filthy. I could use it. I just run the chance of getting infected. Ice cream truck. We're going to mark the ice cream truck. That way we have an access or option to uh, go get the freezer so we can keep food frozen in our travel vehicle. Assuming I can't drive it. Yeah, it's got no wheels. Shock zombie up that way. Another security van. Remember killing that stuff. Not sure what did. Chipmunk. Chipmunk does not satisfy my need. Minefield. We better note that. Oh, we're up behind another grocery store. This one have a back door it's got that side yeah that's the back door to this one that's the nook that one we actually might be able to get into without being interrupted and that's a larger one it's got a skeleton to deal with all right so turn stop
We're in. Whether we get anything out of it or not. Not anything back here. Grab there. Drag. Step out through the freezer. More detergent. Detergent and string. Not looking for detergent and string. Thanks. Root beer. Pale ale. That's what I need. Have some pale ale. What am I seeing out there? Mobile meth lab? Nope, RV. Alright. And a bank. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That is it? <laughs> oh, get all excited about a grocery store. It's got pale ale, a chocolate bar, and one can of salmon. Uh, and a pear. It's exciting. Uh jeez. Sports car, V12 engine. That sports car working? Got wheels. It's got the V12 is faulty. Hard to find these because they look like just normal cars, but this is what a sports car looks like, and this is where you can get a 12-liter V12 engine. So, if you're ever looking for one, that's kind of what you're looking for. It's the only place to get them that I know of. I think there might be another design. No controls, so can't drive it. Alright, well this place sucks. Not going to the bank. At least nothing snuck up on my car while I was in there. Alright. Plenty of space as long as I keep the duffel bag on. We're up to 4 p.m. Oh, crack. Where are you at, crack? Way over there. So, there's the drug site. I can get some meth. There's a necromancer hanging out up there. And a brute. Um, pants, shirts, pants, shirts, cracklins, meth, and lots of bloateds. Other housing districts. Well, I'm not in shortage of housing districts, so we shall bypass. We'll take the opportunity to pop into a house that I can get to easily, though. TV dinner, that helps. Three liter glass jar of compot. Mittens. God damn it! Ugh. Gone for how long? Bad zombie. PBA mask. We'll grab that for the glare quality so I can do welding until I find something better. Uh, so we'll take that. And the rest I don't care about. It's getting kind of thin up front. I'm getting worried about it. I don't think... Oh, there's the large fire extinguisher. That's going to suck up my, a lot of my space. Well, that's a uh, steel jerry can if I can get bolt turning 2 to disassemble it. I don't have yet. That better not be somebody beating on my vehicle again. I'm going to get mad. Hey, another union suit. I'm going to come back to my vehicle being destroyed. No love in the bathrooms. Zombie brood in sight. All right, wasn't somebody on my vehicle. Whoa, hey there, guys. I'm out of here. 
All right, so we got something. Let's have a chocolate bar while we drive. And a cherry. Uh, I can't afford to eat any of that rest of that stuff. Actually, let's have... No, I'm not going to pop the soup. I'll have to do the salmon. Um, Do I risk the salmon right now? I risk it. Let's risk the salmon. 